today we're going to be doing a cat eye look. I have never done this look before, so we're going to dive into this together. But I think I know what the heck I'm doing. And if you guys see a difference in my hair, yes, I cut it. Quarantine is turning me into a different aesthetic a different person i swear and i think that probably goes for you guys too i hope you guys are spending quarantine really well and just thriving if you guys want to see how i got this hair feel free to check out my other video that i just posted a few days ago but yeah i wanted to come on here and just do a little fox eye moment as you can see i honestly haven't really been seeing a lot of asian youtubers do this fox eye look if you want to check out how i got this look feel free to keep on watching and let's enjoy this make it look together I went ahead and applied my primer, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This one is a primer that I use daily. It gives me a really nice finish for my foundation to glide on as well as moisturize. Also, it has vitamin E and what's not to like about vitamins. I also wanted my lips to look more voluptuous. Is that a word? Volum voluminous, uh, thicker. So I went ahead and used So Juicy by ColourPop Plumping Gloss. This one I've never used before, but it is definitely really tingly on the lips. So you guys are gonna see how it does by the end of the video. I really like glosses, so really excited to try this one. Moving on to the base, I will be using Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the color 05 in warm beige. I really wish I had a soothing voice for makeup videos, but. Right now my skin is not the best and that's okay. It's only natural. I have like three, four pimples on my face right now. And at first I was like, I'm not gonna film. I don't want to be on camera with blemishes on my face, but then I realized it's like only natural. And like, why should I hide something that is a part of me even though it's something that I'm not super proud of? Now that I have my foundation on, this is the finish that it gives. It's definitely more of a dewy matte finish, not matte all the way. This one is actually really, really nice for like $8 or $12. It's pretty doable and there's a lot in here. So I really like this one from Milani. Then I'll be using the Stay Naked Concealer. And then I'll be using a Naked Concealer. <laughs> and then I'll be using a nice... I'll be using a Stay Naked Concealer in the color 50NN. And then I'll be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one's in the color Light Sand. This stuff a little goes a really, really long way. Like, that's a lot. And you know, since we're doing the fox eyes, you want to drag it up. And put it on your nose a little bit. This instantly brights up your eyes and your face. It gives you a little bit of a snatch effect. I'll be going in with the Tartus Pro Pro. I'll be going with the Tartus Pro Glow Palette in the shade Shade. It is a creamy contour shade, and I'm just gonna be putting it on my nose. Hopefully, it doesn't really show up on my neck needle. Like this, and then blend it up. Now that my nose looks a bit more snatched, I will be contouring the sides of my face before I put some translucent powder on my face and work on the eyes. A little bit on the nose. Moving on to the eyes, I will be using a little bit of scotch tape to just give myself some guidance on where the eyeshadow is going to be so it's cleaner. So I'm going to pull this much off. And I usually put it on a piece of my clothing first so that it gets less tacky. Like so. The other side. Make sure they're even. So there we have the scotch tape. And then I'm going to be using a hair tie to snatch my hair. It's like instant Botox then. Oh, the back of my head feels so tight. <gasps> now that we have that happening in the back, my face definitely looks more snatch. Going with the pomade in soft brown from Anastasia. This one's just gonna give my eyebrow a little bit of shape before I go in with filling them. 
precisely. For filling in the eyebrows, I'll be going in with M Cosmetics Fine Liner Brow Pencil in Brunette. It looks like this. Now that we're done with the eyebrows, we're going to go in with eyes. For this part, I'll be going with the Tartus Pro Palette in the bold, this color. After that, I'll be going in with the color Edgy, which is this one right here on the ends of my eyes. Whoa. There's an like ice cream truck outside. I can hear it. And I try to focus it on the bottom of my eyes. It's going to have a more of a cat eye effect more than a smoky eye effect. Next up, I will be focusing on the ends of my eyes again. It's going to be in the color Vamp. This specific one. Yes, sir. It's more of a dark neutral brown with a hint of purple. I'm making an eyeliner shape. Smoking it out on the ends especially. Next up, we're going to be using a brown eyeliner. You can use any brown eyeliner you would like. I'm using the ColourPop one. Like so. Do you see the difference? The hard part is getting both sides even. Now that we have both sides done, I'll be going in with the darker liner right here. We're going to be using black eyeshadow to smoke it out to accentuate the liner. Now you can get a Q-tip to clean up. Now that we have the fox eye, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to be placing some translucent powder at the bottom, not the bottom, <laughs> under my eyes just to give it a cleaner finish. I'm using the Airspun loose powder. Ta-da! Baked and better than ever. Next up, I will be using some falsies because quarantine is just quarantine. No more lash extensions. So i am just been recycling my falsies. I believe these one are Cram Shops, Not Your Baby. My Baby, Not Your Baby. I like this one because it's pretty dramatic, but it is not overly dramatic. You want falsies that flare at the end so it gives more of a cat eye effect. Mmm. Now onto the other side. I look like a totally different person from the beginning of the video. And that's when you know. After that, I'm gonna be kind of focusing on underneath my eyes, like right here. I'm gonna be using the same color that we used before, call it edgy, underneath right here. Just a teeny tiny bit. I'm keeping this look pretty matte instead of putting any glitter on there and then brushing out the translucent powder. I will be going back in with a little contour on the sides of my face using Tarte Sculpt. And then I will be placing a little bit of Red Orchard from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Before the next steps, I'm going to be using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set my base. A fan too. The next step is my favorite step, which is the highlighter. I'll be using the same palette as before with the contour. It is the Tartus Pro Go palette, and I'll be using the top two shades right here. Give myself that. Focusing on the tip of my nose. Last but not least are the lips. For the lips, I'll be lining it with ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in the shade Boarding Pass. Next, I'll be using M Cosmetics Morning Mocha. Looks like this. That is the finished look. 
you guys think? Honestly, foxy eye looks are so trendy right now, especially on TikTok, and so I wanted to give it a try. If you guys do so as well, feel free to tag me so I can see our makeup twinning, and that will be really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was pretty helpful to you guys. I will see you guys later this week.